um, how did you feel the team did playing uh, in a meaningful game here late in the season uh, while, it was, uh, while it was under man? Well, I mean, I think, you know, saying the obvious, we, we came up short there at the end, D-led, but uh, our guys battle. Um, you know, we, we ended the half well, and um, we had our chances. But credit to Buffalo. They, they grinded out some drives when they had to have them late, and uh, we came up short. And uh, the run defense, I know you all wanted to stop the quarterback, but it looked like they were able to get Singletary going too. Uh, how do you assess that? Well, I think, you know, the, the, sure, they did a nice job at, at times running the football. Um, you know, Josh Allen, he's a terrific player, and he extended the plays. You know, we got him a few times. We were able to get some turn, turnovers, uh, but he, he was able to get some really – extend some drives uh, with his legs. Uh, he's a good football player. How tough was it dealing with the issues of COVID, practice squad guys up and down? It's not tough. Be let, it, there's, there's an obstacle, and then we'll adjust, and those are our circumstances, and our mindset, we'll, we'll adapt to whatever our circumstances are, D-Led, but I don't look at it that way. Well, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get a clear picture hopefully tomorrow. Um, he tried to go, but until I, you know, get an MRI and like like most Mondays, I, I don't have an update right now. Do you think the series with Matt and the touchdown that was called back was all officiated properly? I'm not gonna comment on it, Josh. So, uh, you know, the officials have a hard job. But did you, did you ask him what he said? Did you ask Matt what he said to get the Tony call or what? Want, that'd be a great, great question for Matt. So I, I understand what happened there, circumstances, but it does no good right now to comment on the officiating. What do you kind of tell Matt, if anything, after kind of that series of events? Well, you get there, obviously they uh, ruled it short. So uh, you, you'd like to be able to, but I understand why it is. Why don't you ask Matt that? I'm going to stay away from that. It is what it is. You know, everybody's got to deal with something. That's not our mindset. I don't look at it as tough. Those are the circumstances. It's our job to, to adapt. Uh, you know, credit to Parker Hesse. You know, there's a guy that was a defensive end out of Iowa um, that, you know, in the class they took Hawkinson and Fant, and he's turned himself into a tight end in the National Football League. Um, and he stepped up, and we have got, had guys all year. Receivers battle. We battle. But uh, we came up short. After the uh, third interception, you're going into the wind. Is that why? Yeah, and yeah, it was. And obviously, um, we still got to handle that better. You don't want to waste the time right there. I had an a equipment issue. It wasn't communicated well, 115. Um, obviously, based on the results after that, he would have just taken the delay. But at the time, we, you know, we needed to get something out of it. We didn't. And uh, it, where that is, D led in that end zone. You know, it's a, it's a tough end zone to kick a, kick a decent field goal into. Uh, Coach, was your game plan to run the ball more? Do you think you ran the ball enough in this game? Well, we did what we felt we had to do. Uh, you know, they, they grinded out. They had the ball a good, good bit. Uh, we, I thought for the most part we were able to, able to move it. He had some decent runs in there. Clearly, we'd love to have the ball more. Uh, we got to do a better job extending drives. Was Quadri injured, uh, number 30, the running back? He was dealing with something, yes. We'll have to see, just kind of like with all our guys, until we get into Monday to see the doctors, usually get MRIs, I can give you a better answer then. Was this Buffalo defense kind of what you expected to be in terms of how they were able to affect Matt's ability to kind of get the ball out and get it to get to some guys? Well, I think what they do, uh, an underrated job. Uh, they, they got a good, good scheme, uh, good, you know, good depth in the middle. But a lot of those where I think they, they don't get enough credit is they're able to mash things underneath, make you get off your first reads at times, and makes you hold the ball, which allows them to get those sacks. So uh, it all goes in play. It's a good defense, good scheme. Is offensive rhythm affected by lack of time of possession, especially maybe on a colder day if you're sitting there for a while? Oh, well, I think it's, you know, we, we, we had our chances to extend drives, Josh, and uh, we didn't. But certainly, your possessions are limited, so you know your numbers are going to be skewed. No different than the Detroit game. You know we were able to win that one, but unlike we had a ton of offensive plays. Uh, 